Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 30th, 2019. Well, guys, we have quite a day ahead of us. Um, a literal deluge of data is going to come at us today. First off, we have uh, just a massive number of earnings. We'll talk about that in just a second. And then we have a really big day of economic events. But before we take a look at those, let's take a look at the chart and let's see what we have going on here um, overall on the day. So first off, yesterday we had a nice bullish reaction. We moved up, but then it just started to slip toward the end of the day. And if we check out these tops right here, our high was 271.58. And then yesterday our high was 271.60, just two ticks higher. Some folks will look at that and call that a tweezer top and that can be important it's kind of a uh, it's one of those patterns that present it's, presents itself rather rare it's kind of a rare occasion when it presents itself but that is certainly there one of the things i want to point out is i still have to give the day to the bulls if we look right here we have broken this little downtrend to the upside and we're holding that right now as support so we're kind of hanging in there in there hanging on to this support level in that chart so i still have to give this to the bulls and they're trying to hold up in here and trying to be pretty strong now clearly the dow has a lot of work to do the diamonds would need to crawl all the way up up into here fairly significant move but that could be done um, with a day like today with so much data coming our way and right now as you notice the 50-day moving average still moving up providing some support in here so we may just need a little bit of continued rest to allow those averages to come up and provide that support we'll have to wait and see but right now i still got to give it up to the bulls if we take a look at the spy spy obviously the bulls have control here on the spy holding above this uh, breakout still hanging in here around those all-time highs obviously that little shooting star type top up here uh, leaves us with a little bit of a pause we're we're a little bit uh, pensive maybe um, heading into all of this data of today but so far the bulls still have control and we're holding up there above that support we still have this nice trend moving on but one thing I'd like to point out is just how far we are from our 50-day moving average we have really stretched pretty hard and you can see when the market does that when it stretches that far above its 50-day moving average we often get a pullback or a consolidation now my hope is that we're going to consolidate right up here just stay right up here and just rest and allow that some time to move on up but we're going to have to uh, face the facts that if we do slip if we were to break this support that that really Im could embolden the bears pretty strongly and really adds some weight to this potential top up here could be um, a technical some technical damage that could be hard to overcome later on so let's hope that doesn't occur let's hope we set up here we hang out we do a little consolidation or maybe even the the market finds the inspiration and in all of this data today to move us on higher let's take a look at the cues cues also looking really really good here holding above this new high breakout hanging in there but once again yesterday left us with a candle pattern that was less than stellar something that gives us just a little bit of concern here in the market now perhaps that's nothing more than a pullback to test this as support maybe we can test and rest in here maybe bounce off of that level whatever that whatever we're doing here we just have to be very cognizant of what's going on in the chart i also want to point out the fact 
that our current price is quite a ways away from that 50 day moving average. And we may need just a longer rest or a longer pullback uh, or, or more of a pullback to provide um, a little bit of relief to that stretched appearance that we have here in the, the NASDAQ. So keep that in mind. Once again, we don't want to see a failure here. That just adds complication to an already very complicated topping pattern that may be forming here. And hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully we're going to find that support in here. We're going to rally right up out of it. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM kind of defied the other markets yesterday, continuing to move on higher. And I think that's a good sign. Um, so once again, I've got to give the market, uh, I've got to give it up to the bulls yesterday because we held here in our um, IWM, meaning that we finally have broken above our overall downtrend here in the market. Now, we obviously have some resistance in here to think about and consider but we're holding up above that, that bigger downtrend. And I see that as positive, as long as we can hold above that as support, we'll be in good shape. Um, and maybe the IWM can start participating with the rest of the market, maybe help out just a little bit more. So let's take a look at what's going on in the VIX. And, and by the way, um, watching the futures markets today has been kind of interesting. Uh, futures were down most of the night. And now they're hovering around flatline. And as these earnings numbers come rolling in, we're continuing to just kind of stick right there on the flat line. Can't quite get things going here this morning. It's, it's as if the entire market is trying to hedge a bet and just doesn't know what to do with itself, trying to straddle that fence. So be really, really cautious this morning. Be careful about rushing into trades. The VIX yesterday showed a little teeny tiny bit of, whoops, I, that's a weekly chart, better fix that. Showed a little teeny tiny bit of fear here, but didn't really um, make any major decisions or major moves whatsoever. Hanging around that 13 handle, we are still very low here on our fear rate rating in um, the VIX. So there's nothing here that's really providing any concern. The market, I think, is just in that wait and see mode. We need to find out what's going to happen with all this data today and how we might move after that will be important. So let's keep an eye on this today. We could get some big moves in that as we move throughout the day. Watch that pretty closely. One of the things I would suggest is we still have plenty of room down here to move to this support level. So if if we find some good data and the fear continues to drop, dropping down in here to this 11 handle in the VIX seems very possible and even likely um, as we move along. But if it starts to spike up, we're gonna wanna watch this level of price resistance up in here and make sure we don't spike up above that area. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. You can see T2122 is just kind of hanging out here. We're hanging out here in, there may be some light air. We've moved up here a long ways and um, the air's getting a little bit thin and we're struggling up here to move higher. But let's make, Perfect note that if the market can find inspiration, if the bulls can find inspiration, there still is room to move to the upside. So we have an upside story that can, or a case that can be built. We also have a pretty big downside side case that can be built. So it's really gonna depend on how the market reacts to all of this data. What kind, what are the results of that data? What will it mean? So, just be a little bit flexible 
Be careful today. Think carefully how you're going to approach this market today. It may be one of those days where you decide, look, I'm not a day trader and day traders have the edge today. I may just back away, watch the show, pop some popcorn, put my feet up, and then wait until my edge improves. That could be a good decision today, depending on how the market reacts to all of this data. So when I talk about data, what are we talking about? Well, let's talk, let's get into that and take a look at what we have going on here today. So first off on our economic calendar, we have the ADP number this morning that will come out here before too long we'll have the ADP number out and that can move the market around a little bit but it's not nearly as important as it used to be then at um, 8 30 a.m. an hour before the market opens we have the GDP number now the GDP consensus right now is looking for that to drop below 2% that might be bearish for the market. The market might react negatively to that. At the same time, that might actually um, help the case for the FOMC to cut rates. And the market may think, well, that just kind of guarantees an FOMC rate cut and the market responds bullishly to that negative news. It's hard to know what's going to happen around that. But right now, that's where we're at. What we don't want to see is some kind of big surprise in the GDP that could certainly create some volatility. Then we have uh, the petroleum status report. We know that can move around those oil stocks quite a bit, also affecting the market. But of course, the big big guy of the day is going to be the FOMC when Jerome Powell comes out and tells us what his rate decision is uh, for um, um, today, whether or not they're going to cut rates. Now, right now, Fed Fund Futures have it set as virtually 100% a chance that they are going to cut the rate today. The big question is, are they going to signal further rate cuts down the road or are they going to say something like, we're done right now? How the market reacts to that is anyone's guess um, if that is the case. So kind of keep that in mind. And then of course, right after that, we have the Fed presser, which um, always seems to bring volatility into the market. So anything is possible around these reports this afternoon. So what I would suggest is we're likely going to see some some price action this morning. If we have any chance of price action, it will be in that morning rush when everybody's reacting to earnings reports and there'll be a lot of uh, back and forth going on. But then kind of expect the market to get slow and choppy throughout that uh, the rest of that day up until that FOMC announcement. Um, after the FOMC announcement, hey, it's anybody's guess um, as to what happens uh, with that. We'll just have to wait and see the reaction. So on the earnings calendar today, we have a massive day of earnings, and it could affect us not only today, but tomorrow. And the reason I say that is, well, first off, we have about 380 companies reporting earnings today. Just a huge deluge of data coming at the market. And then at the end of the day, we have Apple. After the, after the bell, we have Apple reporting. And we also have Facebook reporting. These two big tech giants can certainly move the market after the close today. So, which means tomorrow morning we could have either a big gap up, a big gap down, depending on how the market reacts to those earnings reports and, and, and tries to digest all the data of the day. So keep in mind, the uncertainty that we may face could spill over into um, Thursday morning. And then keep in mind, we have um, uh, just short of 350 companies reporting on Thursday. So another massive day of potential reports that could um, create all kinds of back and forth in the market. So um, just keep that in mind. We have a lot of data coming our way and it's going to be a little bit difficult to know what to do. Now what I would suggest to you is that 
If you're a swing trader and a position trader, it could be a very challenging day of decisions. What are we going to do? How do I approach the market for today with all of this data? If you're a, a very quick, and I would say you may have to be rather experienced day trader, today is your day. Today could be just the great day for you because of that quick price action that could shift directions very, very quickly um, might be just right up your alley and a good time to be making money so swing traders and position traders kind of decide do you have an edge today or not maybe the thing to do is to stand aside maybe the thing to do is pick up some longer term positions I don't know but you have to make uh, some tough decisions today with all of this uh, volatility going on so everyone I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits in your trading and if this is the first time you've seen these videos could you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos I hope that you can see from the data the kind of videos that I'm putting out here what you've um, heard today is I try to avoid all of the hype and all of the all of the prediction that you might see uh, other places um, I just want to look strictly at the technicals and I want to be um, very wise in how I approach the market for today without emotion and if you guys find these um, um, helpful if you find that useful could you please do me a favor and click that uh, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment um, I would truly appreciate it it helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks keeps the channel go going uh, growing and um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who does that you guys are truly truly awesome and I appreciate you more than you can possibly know. So let's take a look at a few charts that may be setting up. And I want to remind everyone that every time I show a chart that could be a possible trade idea, that it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own evaluation and review that chart and decide whether or not there is an opportunity here for you um, in that trade. So with that, let's take a look at JB Hunt. JB Hunt, a beautiful move yesterday. You guys know I've been po uh, putting this out uh, day after day after day in the morning video, suggesting that this may have a possibility to move. Yesterday, it got its move. Pop through there, showing some strength in that chart. You may want to keep an eye on JB Hunt. It's looking pretty darn good overall. Um, and is showing some strength here um, through that move. Let's take a look at that Roku. Now Roku, you guys know I've been bringing it up, bringing it up, bringing it up. Roku has moved on up nice and strong here, popped out of this little pop out of the box pattern that I talk about. It's just merely a, a, an exercise of patience to wait for those trades to occur. Now we're pushing up here into a resistance level. I would expect maybe a little bit more rest, maybe some consolidation in here. But Roku, if it can rest and hold on to this trend, there may be more opportunity to the upside. So keep Roku on your list. Keep your eyes on it. There may be um, an opportunity there. ABBV is a stock that I brought up to everyone in Right Way Options um, the other day. And this is one of those beautiful little patterns. We move up here, pull back toward that trend. Notice how the stock just loves to react to its trend. Pull back toward that trend, and then those bulls step in with that nice morning star pattern. ABBV is dealing with some resistance level in the chart. I cannot tell you whether it's going to be able to push on through there, but what I can tell you, as long as we hold this trend, we still have that opportunity to maybe rest, consolidate some of this move, or continue to push on through that resistance in that chart. So keep an eye on ABBV. Uh, another couple of charts that I brought up yesterday to, uh, to folks was VMW. VMW looking pretty good here overall. And what I see in this chart is a nice little wedge pattern that has produced this breakthrough move and now hold 
holding it as support. Now, we always want to keep in mind earnings reports, when those things are going to report earnings. And as you can see, VMW has got a long time yet before we report those earnings. So that nice little bounce off of that support level I think suggests this has that opportunity to move on up toward that 200 day moving average. Now it is entirely possible that this could still chop sideways a little bit more, bring in a little more rest before it decides to move. But I would watch for that move up into this area on VMW. And if you happen to be looking for a short, take a look at W day. W Day has been struggling, struggling, struggling for a long time. Failing 50 cross down through the 200, we call that the death cross. And as you can see, we're failing right along a trend line here in W Day. And W Day also reacting to this price resistance level in here, getting some short or some failure patterns, patterns in here. This would suggest the possibility that W Day could move on down, making another new low so you might want to take a look at that if you're looking for a short trade so running out of time here everyone so I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great profits and I want to remind everyone that if you're struggling as a trader you know uh, Trading is a difficult business to be in, but don't give up. Don't give up on that dream because believe me, if I can figure this stuff out, you can too. There's nothing, nothing particularly special about me other than I work really, really hard um, on my trading. It took me a long time to figure it out, but I'm telling you, if I can, you can. So stick with it. Keep up that effort. It will pay off eventually. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. I wish you all the best. And we'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning.